Hey guys, this is Jesse with Fishing the Dream. Today I'm going to be fishing a little stream that runs straight through Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, it's called Chickamauga Creek. Uh, it's got some smallmouth in it, uh, some spotted bass, bluegill. I'm sure there's some uh, rock bass in here, but uh, we're going to give her a shot today and see if we can catch something. Uh, hope you don't mind the road noise. We'll be under some overpasses today, and uh, we'll uh, see what happens. Just stick with me on my adventure. There'll be more of these to come. All right, guys, I want to go over what I'm going to be using today. Um, as always, I always use my uh, Maxim, my Phoenix Maxim rod, 6.6, medium light, with a Johnny Morris Signature Series reel. A four-pound test this time. Um, I went a little lighter. I've been going a little lighter because I've been fishing a lot of smaller streams lately. But I wanted to show you show you my rig. This is this is basically what I use everywhere I go, pretty much stream fishing. And this is the Kitek rig I've been using today. It's on an Owner Ultra Point jig head, eighth ounce, and I'm using the Kitek. Easy shiner, and this is in French pearl, and this is the only bait I'll be using today. Uh, I use this bait specifically because it's a good search bait, and I can cast it a lot and get a, cover a lot of water with it. And it seems to get bit by everything. Um, uh, I can catch smallmouth, I can catch uh, oh, spotted bass, rock bass, bluegill. They all seem to jump on this. So. If you get a chance, pick you up some of this because this is uh, those are some good baits to use. Oh, got one! Finally, little river smally. Yep, that's what it is. Little river smally. Yeah. Old Kitek men have worked him over. Yeah. Not big, but he'll do. That's the first. Keep on working these things. They're slow going this morning. We'll keep trying. That's what I was looking for. River smallies. May have to work these pockets underneath these riffles. See if I can get some to hit like that. Oh, got another one. Oh, this one's a little bit better. Way better. Oh, look at this. This is a monster here. <laughs> Holy cow. You see that? This one here's a monster. This is a creek monster. I gotta get him out of the grass. Oh yeah, that's a creek monster right there. Look at this. That's a creek monster. That's a big old fish. That is a monster of a fish on the Kitek minnow. Boy, he hammered it too. That's what I like to see in these little streams. Beautiful fish. The old Kai Tech does it again. It's one heck of a good fishing lure. Let's let this big old boy go. He's pretty. Oh, he just, look what he just spit up. Look at that. That's, that's huge. He spit up a bluegill. Let's see if we can catch us some more of those. That's what I'm talking about. So that is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't 
don't see too many of these in creeks. And he's alive. Yep, he was alive. He was sticking out of his shell. Yeah, you don't see too many of them in creeks. I always like to throw it around that grass because it's a good smallmouth ambush point. Oh, I got one. Got one. Yeah, what we got here? Oh, he was hungry. And he's not bad looking. Not bad looking at all. He's decent size for creek. Good looking fish. I like that a lot. Beautiful. Oh. He's ready to go. <laughs> he wasn't waiting around. Let's see if we can get another one in there. Or maybe a smallie waiting on the edge. Keep walking. You never know. One good thing about creeks, you never know what you're going to catch. I like them a lot for that reason. There's always some, there's always different scenarios, different types of fish you're going to catch. different habitat it just depends on what they're willing to eat that day oh had one got one I watched him pick it up another little, oh, another little bluegill he just got off Oh, I got something immediately. Oh, 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 I got a smallie. Yeah, yeah, look at this. Yeah, he got it immediately. Come here. I didn't even crank it. And he was already on it. He was already jumping on it. Look at that. Beautiful little smallie. Well, Hopefully they stay hungry today. Hopefully. Let's keep fishing for them over here on this little plane. There's a nice little spot over here. I think it's a... I've been catching these smallies in this lull before the fast moving water. And the tail water, so... Maybe that's, a, maybe that's the key. Maybe a, keep fishing for them in those areas. That might be the key to it. Oh, I had one. Yep, I had one there. Well, try that again. I didn't wear up my welcome already. Keep getting it in that pocket over there. There's. 
see some flat rock over there and a little riffle. I'm hoping there might be some more smallies hanging out off that. Yeah, that smallie, I didn't even crank it at all and he was on it. As soon as it hit the water, I didn't even have to do anything. He was hooked immediately. Well, keep trying around that spot. a little something here. Got one. Oh, had one. Had a little bite there. It's always a good spot to fish. Right just below the below, right below the riffle. Keep working my working that area right there. Oh, I got one. Got one. Nice one. Nice one. Got a smallie. I knew it. There'd be one in that area. Yeah, I got him. He's got some. Oh, this is a. I think I got a. Yep, I got a beautiful spotted bass. Beautiful fish. Got a tongue patch. Let's try that again. Oh, got one immediately. Yep, got one. Oh man, he let loose. Let's try that again. That looks pretty productive. I missed a good one there, I believe. I believe that was a better one. Yeah, my well, fishing lure got a little bound up there. Wasn't wanting to swim properly. Let's see what we got going on. May have to slip a new one on. Like I said, they don't last very long. Yep, I may have wore out my welcome there. Let's see what we get up to here. for some more smallies. Yeah, let's 
Let's walk back this way. And walk up the river a little place further. See a lot of rock shelf on that side, which is a good thing. Smallies like to hang around that rock shelf. I think I saw one run for it, but just couldn't commit. All in all, so far it's been a pretty productive day. Caught some smallies. Hadn't caught a small mouth in a little while. That big bruiser earlier. Was a nice fish. Slack water here. Not much like fishing it. Oh, I got one. Yep, yep, got one. Yep. <laughs> he laid waste to it. He wanted that pretty bad. He's got these things got a small mouth for this big old wide gap hook. I'm really surprised that he really took that Kitek. That's amazing. Got a pretty little cardinal flower right there. And I'm not sure what that is, but this creek bank's full of them here. All different colored flowers. Pretty cool. It's, like, it's nice to get out in the inner city and still, and still see some nature. It's pretty cool. Had a pretty good day today on the water. I have caught uh, one very nice smallmouth and a couple nice little ones, a couple bluegill, nothing major today, but it was kind of a uh, searching fishing trip for me because I've never fished this water before. And uh, I'd like to fish it again. I'm probably gonna fish it again here in, a little later in the fall and I'll probably use the top water, see if I can uh, strike up some smallmouth bites that way. But I appreciate you tuning in with me on my fishing trip and uh, if you like the content hit the like button and subscribe to my channel I uh, try to make a couple videos uh, I'm not as uh, I'm not making as many videos as I used to uh, I have a little knife company called Hickory Hill Knives and I do that along with uh, making a, I also have a full-time job so if you uh, like what's going on on my channel and you like to see some more of it hit the like button and subscribe I greatly appreciate it